Energy vibration reading for the sun, moon, and rising Leos. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It is a month of an earth energy. Please remember to listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. And I want to say thank you for your likes, shares, and support. Please share these videos. You have the energy vibration of the three of ones in reverse. That means you have found what you're looking for. So in this month, you have found what you're looking for. The zodiac energy is uh, number 21, the world, and the um, um, the the energy is number 21 the world and the zodiac energy you're going to have an emotional um uh, person third week and then you have the fire energy in the last week and this is good it's all about the money for you guys in this week um some of you are going to be receiving um a new birth of a child in the last week um connection with a daughter say that your daughter you haven't seen your daughter for the last for a long time thanksgiving um happy thanksgiving to everyone out there who celebrates thanksgiving your reading is one of the best it's the first time the star comes out um your crowning um for your month is the mother of swords and heartbreak the mother of swords and heartbreak so um, some people are going to have a situation with someone who is an Aquarius a Libra or a Gemini and there is going to be an art break okay let's look further what is happening okay destiny the star um, the tower okay there is going to be energy of money is coming up with your work and the Sun energy which is good so whatever the situation the last two weeks of this month is going to be your best week let's look at your first week okay but before we do that because you have double energies in the first week also there is a message you have double energies so you have the daughter of sword in the first week and the star it's destiny so it's a situation that has to do with a karmatic situation and that has to do with someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and this person whatever that has transpired between you and this person okay this is the daughter of the sword so this is someone who is 18 between 18 21 um, 20 to 35 and this person had the energy of the star okay but there comes an end to it so this can be that uh, there's a, going to be someone who's going to be passing over energy of the star going to the spirit world for some people so someone daughter could be passing over and going through the spirit world someone daughter who was very good can just have a breakdown this is what I'm getting this is not really a positive message it's, but it's a karmatic situation so you both came in and you have to be there for this person whoever this situation is you have to be there for this person um, it's going to be someone who's younger than you are and there is going to be a situation but you have to be there for this person so it can affect this person that their child is going to pass so where there's going to be a situation with their child um, because their child was the star but now it's as if that is coming to an end so there is an, 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 an a situation that is playing out it could be for the people who are connected and have relationship with these people because art break with the mother of the the art break with the mother of uh, the sword is also here as your crowning for this month so there is obviously a situation that is going on so let's look further to see in the second week if you have a legal a legal situation um, a situation with your financial problem that is going to um, be healed so you have justice and you have um, for some people it's going to be um, a situation with the legal um, but it's going to be okay because this energy keeps on coming up which is saying that 
after the storm there's a calm and there's going to be an healing this can be someone who is um, sexually um, uh, promiscuous be careful of this okay you can ruin your life so be careful of this careful of who you're going to be connecting with okay we have an energy of the mother of swords and we have the three of heart and there is going to be a situation that you have to let go of this person so if you are married to this person there is going to be a heartbreak and um, there's going to be an ending um, for relationships if you are married there is going to be a divorce with this person so this person is an Aquarian a Gemini or a Libra but you are going to be having some situation if it's a relationship it's going to be ended if it is uh, something to do with legal matter a divorce it's going to come to an end okay as we look at the fourth week we have the week of transformation week of transformation you have a situation with the um, Tauruses of Virgo or Capricorn they are going to bring an eel your financial situation because um, it can be a Capricorn I'm receiving a Capricorn because this Capricorn person is going to eel your financial situation she's going to um, come in your life in some way and it's going to help you with your um, financial situation and this is going to be good so whatever the debt is to you not having money and um, this person is going to help come in and help you last week is patience we need to have patience in our lives the last time we have absolutely no patience, and we need really 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 to have patience and then we have the energy of the daughter of cups so we have uh, the daughter of swords and the daughter of cups daughter of cups is going to be someone who's a Pisces a, it's going to be a Pisces um, a cancer or a scorpion so some of you will realize that new children are born in, in uh, being born in your life especially the women are going to find out that they're pregnant or they're about to give birth to, to someone who's a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion okay at work for some people this um, young person could be um, bringing you wonderful um, opportunities and possibilities opening up doors for you and they're going to help you okay so whatever the situation is it's going to be very good um, a lot of you are going to be connecting and should connect if you have a child that is a water sign connect with this child because it's going to be good you need to have patient um, because whatever the situation that is happening this child health is going to be okay okay their health because obviously there is a problem with this child health and it's going to be okay so um, be aware of what is happening around you because you need to understand that good things are going to happen for you and um, if you if, you know there your crowning of your month is uh, um, the crowning of heartbreaks with someone who is of a sword sign so um, an ending to a relationship of someone who um, is an Aquarius uh, uh, Gemini of or Libran okay and there is going to be a divorce you know sacrifice a divorce is going to be happening um, if your wife if you are married or have a long-term relationship with an Aquarius a Gemini or Libra it's going to be coming to an end whatever is happening in the first week if you have uh, someone who is uh, um, an Aquarius a, a, a Gemini or a Libra also with a, a person that person can pass over let me look and see what exactly because that's a 10 so the number 10 is going to play a significant role in your life number seven number 
five two times 14 you have a double whammy in the last week last week is a very positive week you have twice 14 um, 14 is going to be a very lucky number for you guys you have twice seven twice seven you have um, the star is 16 the star you have the energy of the star also which is good whatever is with your financial situation whatever the health problem is with you ladies whatever the health problem is with the children in your life it's going to be um, a healed okay let's see what your chakras are saying let's look at your chakras to get a more positive message um gratitude always say thank you it doesn't matter what it is always say thank you you need to release release is the name of the game in this month you need to release release that which no longer serve you so obviously you need to release this woman or man who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra gratitude um, seems to be very important always try to say thank you to the universe or to people um, be gracious of what the blessings you are receiving okay always say thank you thank you uh, if you realize I'm always saying thank you for being here because I'm grateful that you return every and every month and please remember because these months are five weeks please remember to listen to the weekly reading and the monthly reading um, the week in a monthly reading which I'm going to time so that you guys can receive more information that is going to come up second energy is a bit sweet this is your throat chakra the blue energy Archangel Michael call upon him um, in this month because you're going to need him between the for the second week and the third week you are going to need Archangel Michael so that you can speak your truth uh, wisdom which is good it is green energy your heart chakra you're clearing your heart chakra call upon Archangel Shamuel and all the um, love angels and in and um, the um, any the, the angels of wisdom to come in and heal your wisdom remember whatever health problems you're having it's going to be okay there is not going to be such such a problem um let's look and see your zodiac energies remember that you need to have balance especially at your works and with your work let's see what the sun sign people have the Virgos are coming in the Virgo seems to be helping because it's uh, they are going to be bringing you luck it's an hurt month so the Virgos and the Taurus are going to be helping the Sun people moon people what a sign yeah the moon people okay and love okay so that's good haven't seen that come up in a while let's look at the Sun people what's going to happen for the Sun people you have the Virgos that you're going to be connected with the Virgos are going to Virgos and Tauruses are going to bring you um, luck so you are a fire sign and the Virgos and the Tauruses are going to bring you luck in business and happiness um, at your work uh, study groups and that sort of a thing they are going to bring you luck the Virgos and the Taurus so this is good as we move on and we are going to look at the moon people let's see what's happening for the moon people you have uh, the energy vibration of the Pisces and they are going to be connecting with you in a romantic way and they're going to help you to awaken your psychic and help you to start manifesting things in your life and this is going to be good okay so for the night people this is going to be so if you were born after 6 p.m. till um, 6 a.m. you are going to find a lot of Pisces people and a lot of they are going to be connecting with you in a love way okay these Pisces 
really are going to be connecting with you in a love way they're going to bring um, love in your life okay let's look and see what is the vortex message for you um, um, Leo's in the month of November and you have I can look for the things I appreciate this came up so um, you can get the relationship of your dreams when you you and your thoughts about relationship feels lovely and no anger no worries or disappointment but as you look for things you appreciate in yourself and others as you make lists of positive aspect of past and present relationship you train your vibrational effect to offer the matching vibration of your desire and your perfect mate must then come in it is the law of attracting so this is going to be good this came up for another sign I want to say to each and every person out there thank you for returning thank you for your uh, your support please like share these videos remember to go back and listen to the videos every week I'm going to put a, a week number on the videos so you can um, check out the vibration of the weeks uh, together with the weekly readings and I want to say thank you for your support likes and share these videos namaste until next week